All right. I'm going to start a daily vlog. I hate the word vlog, but we're going to try. I thought it would be a good idea to just ride the hype train and the anticipation of PSVR 2 and its coming launch in 15 or 16 days. It is currently the 7th, the 7th of February, 2023. And, um, and this, in this little corner here is Reddit. And we're going to just like every day, at least I'm going to try for every day, sit down with Reddit and just capture in like a nice little video time capsule what was Reddit thinking. Because I love Reddit, the front page of the internet. It's so much fun. And it's always got great content opinions. And it's usually like the flavor of the internet. So to capture that and to like also just react to it and give my own thoughts as somebody who played almost... I feel like it's almost the full catalog of PSVR 1 games. But I'm sure there are people out there who will totally put me to shame in that respect. But I played a lot of it. I streamed absolutely all of my gameplay uh and i came to love and know skyrim through playstation and then i moved to pc vr after that and god it just changed my life anyway all of that to one side if you happen to go to your browser this is the asset test if you go to your browser you type in p and it doesn't take you directly to the psvr subreddit then this is for you okay so we're gonna dive in this is the PlayStation VR subreddit as of the 7th, the 7th of February, 2023. And hopefully a, a daily thing like this. Now, I'd love it if these were like four minutes long, but knowing me, they won't be four minutes long. Uh, okay, what do we got? Um, those are all pinned, right? Those two? Those are pinned. So, back them. They don't, they don't really mean anything. Uh, this is me looking at the subreddit every two hours to see if there are updates. Now this is actually me. I'm 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 absolutely doing this. Like just over the last week, I've like I can't keep myself away from like checking posts on here. So there you go. That's uh your standard meme fluff stuff. What is this? Oh, if I can add. <laughs> it's really second things an ad. Oh look, it's Road to VR with a nice big actually that's a very lovely I mean, look at this. It is beautiful. Like you can actually see the contour of what appears to be some kind of undergarments and i think that just accentuates this bum even more i've not played village yet village is what i plan to play first when the psvr2 arrives i was a day one pre-order i'm very happy about that as someone who loved uh resident evil bio biohazard and all of the dlc the vr stuff was great i mean chopping fingers off and stuff oh man it was so good but yeah i don't know how um uh this lad <laughs> good old ben uh, he looks like he's having a good time. Okay. This one caught my eye uh, just a couple hours ago when I was contemplating this whole thing and I was like, what are we going to do about this? Um, the fact that there... It says 100 new games coming shortly after PSVR 2's launch. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Does that make sense? Let's just check this. What is this? LifeWire? I've never heard of them. Uh, Sony confirms more than 100 new games coming soon. After PS VR 2's launch, it's officially confirmed the forthcoming PS VR 2 will have no lack of games. This comes from an official PS VR 2 FAQ, which published today. Just over 30 of the 100 promised will be available at launch or during the launch window. These titles include, yep, we know them. That's fine. Puzzling Places, Call of the Mountain, Kayak VR, GT7. GT7 and I have a very special relationship because... As a sim racer for four straight years, I'm goddamn telling you, I've been eyeing up a steering wheel and I'm like, just buy the feckin' wheel. It's for a great deal. It's near me. It's used. It looks great condition. Super good price. It's been, no one's touched it for three weeks. It's a, it's a G29. Like I have the G27 and I love that wheel and it's compatible. And it's like, yeah, just buy that, buy the game on sale and just live your simmer li life again. But, um. I think I'm going to abstain. I'm, I I have to tell myself every single day, abstain. Don't go to GT7. Just abstain. Focus on everything else that's coming. And at some point in the future, you can divulge into that and you can be like, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to miss the wave. And I hate it. I hate missing the wave, but I'm going to miss it. Um, so this one is saying what? What is this saying? 
this is literally just a, a piece of like anyway they said they, they had an awesome faq the the ultimate faq to win all faqs and that's all it's saying this is good because the headset's expensive i hate these articles they're just rubbish okay back to reddit come on let's go are you gonna let me go back to reddit oh it's one of those okay uh this one excites me fireproof games makers of the room uh developing an unannounced vr game for pc and psvr 2 the room vr was fantastic it was like this egyptian motif uh, like themed thing it was great uh the puzzles kept getting more and more difficult until you got to the end and there was this special puzzle i can't talk about but oh it was great really really liked it loved the room um some of the best room escape vr no maybe not my top favorite but absolutely one of the best developed and seeing is pretty much every game that they've got uh this is basically a posting for a for a for a vr you know their guilford uk based studio uh we're, we'll be building upon those vr foundations for our next game an ambitious new title for both pc and console platforms familiarity with developing for vr hardware so pc and console vr next game as in not Wow, that means it's not a, just a rehash of the first one, which is, it's not a port. That's pretty cool. This one got announced today, Garden of the Sea. I'll try to play this without any audio, just so you get a flavor for what that video looks like. Uh, Garden of the Sea is kind of a really basic kind of game. Um, you start off, there's a busted bridge, and you kind of have to, you kind of have to, like, yeah, um, mine? It, it's kind of like a simple minecraft you get the plant seeds sow the seeds it's this kind of continual thing it is there's a fair amount of gardening i didn't get very far in it i played it for like what an hour two hours i didn't get this far i didn't get a pretty bad or whatever but for people who aren't looking for resident evil then then definitely that's is another one that you should try <laughs> it's like if you like curious tale and stolen pets and those cutesy games then and maybe this one would, would be your thing. I don't know. I didn't give it enough time. I kind of got sick of it. I played it on Quest, if I remember. And um, it looks really adorable. It really does. PlayStation launch is, is smart. Very smart for them. Uh, but that's just another game that was just dropped, you know, uh, just hours ago. And it, it, just, uh, it just dropped out. It's crazy. So GT7 on PSVR 2 is great. Yeah, I know. You don't need to tell me that. VR Skater. I haven't played this game. This has been an alpha and stuff for like ages, right? But um, this is another one that's coming. And it's like kickflip. If you, if you, did you ever have those fingerboards when you were like a teenager? I, I remember we had those. And then there was, of course, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and stuff. And if they did like Tony Hawk Pro Skater very well with this kickflip kind of idea in VR with controls that feel good, then it could be really badass. But um, I've heard mixed opinions about the the earlier uh versions of the game i don't know i think it's one of those that someone might really enjoy but i find that these games with these kind of weird locomotion capabilities just don't usually feel great they like they feel all right but unless they feel great then they're not going to like change your life and we're not going to watch the whole video anyway uh so that's that one again this is just meant to be a, a time capsule really of, of the way reddit is feeling like good old fluff I don't recognize that from South Park. Is he in a freezer? So he's basically going into hibernation. He might be waiting for something. Um, what else have we got? Go, go, okay. Yeah, which one of you is this? The Gran Turismo on the back of their, their truck. And then this says, uh, this is the one that I'm not sure if people are just talking out of their ass or not. I've, I've just started really watching uh, PSVR without parole. I used to be a big fan of, um, is it Polish Paul? Fuck it, what's his name? The PSVR Polish guy. Uh, he's the one I used to watch for kind of years. Years and years and years. Yeah, um, and then early on, you know, when we started to get the, I'll call them the native PSVR streamers. People like um, uh, Gamertag, for example, who just started off like straight direct streaming off the box. Like no setup or whatever. Um, but were very community centric. Like that, that, then I started to kind of branch out and actually pay attention to people but this is really cool because psvr uh two with psvr two without parole oh they've changed their name now uh, i see how it is um 
Let's see here now. Almost as if there was a big Sony announcement incoming. And there's like a bunch of... This is the thing I don't get, right? This is like, oh, there's going to be a... Look, lack of Sony games is weird. Would like to see upgrades for Astrobot, Blood and Truth, Wipeout, Iron Man, Rush of Blood, and many more. It says almost as if there was a big Sony announcement incoming, right? Like, I think they're going to do a huge splash... Uh, that's what this implies anyway, is that there's gonna be like a huge splash in all these games all of a sudden announced. I think the lineup is great as it is. If there is anything else coming, man, we'll just take it as extra. This says, uh, no announcement is coming. Hardware is almost out. It says, Zib... Oh god, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. And this person says, wouldn't the fact that the hardware is coming point to the fact that there will be an announcement? And it says, do you have any rumors about that or just talking? It says, uh, and then someone else says, do you have any info about an announcement? And this person says, yes, be patient. No rumors, just facts. Be patient. So, like, they're hinting to it, but if they had something, you know, if anyone had something, I think they would they would know about it. But, uh, you know, this whole thing about um, the Pavlov dev talking about 10% or whatever more. Look, anyway, I'm not going to go on this stuff. Uh, Brian Paul's been doing excellent co coverage, actually. I think those guys are are just doing great. And I love that this, this person is asking for Power Washer Simulator. Like, this is probably enough for, like, the headline on Reddit and what we've got at the moment just for today. For the first one of these, it's supposed to be, like, a short time capsule. We're already almost at 12 minutes. And you know me, I just keep talking. But I'm very excited for the headset. I'm also in pain. I had massive dental work back here um i say massive one tooth but a deep filling and something that's been like pending on root canal for a long time i think the guy feckin nailed the tooth and I, i'm getting all this pain here and stuff and it's like that's been putting a slight damper on me getting excited because i've been feeling like rubbish for the last three four days and i'm just like dealing with that and working and stuff like that and getting ready for podcast and um i just wanted to see what was coming on the headline of reddit and try a new thing we've done vlogs before i did vlogs when we did um oculus connect what was that oc5 did a did a vlog every day just to kind of dump all the information out that was that was there that was pertinent but there's a few things that i'm i gotta i gotta get off my chest that i'm concerned about for psvr2 it is not the launch lineup it is not the size of the headset it is not the fact that they're not pancake lenses fresnel is fine i have not ever owned a I've never had my head in a pancake lens display because uh, we were busy moving and stuff. I haven't tried a Quest Pro. I haven't tried a Pico. I haven't tried a uh, Aero Vario Aero or any of those headsets. I haven't tried any of that stuff. So my nearest and dearest headset right now is a Quest 2. It's kind of falling apart on me a little bit. The Elite Strap for the like fourth time. I'm trying to RMA it. So all that stuff shoved to the side. Uh, the thing I'm concerned about is the microphone. Um, I'm very concerned about the microphone because the microphone in the DualSense controller is, if that's what you call this, I'm going to assume that I got that right, but I'm not a native Sony guy. I did like PS4. So I did a PSP when I was a bit younger, PS4 Pro and PSVR1, and then played the feck out of that, had the aim controller, the move controllers, Everything controller, jock strap controller, and then sold all of that to a very friendly English gentleman. All of my stuff as one big bundle. And then I moved across the Atlantic and now I'm in Canada. And uh, yeah, like streaming and, and trying out this microphone. This microphone is very not great. It's okay. It's, it's, it's only passable. And because no one has talked about the microphone dynamics, they haven't talked about having you know stereo mics and stereo mic echo cancellation and that type of stuff like for ambience and those are like staples to me now from the quest the quest is great you can have the tv on next to you and you'll be talking away in your game and you know people can hear you just perfectly um please give us a good microphone that's the first thing um the second thing is the setup time every time you pick up the headset I think being the primary user and not in a household where, you know, I'm going to have five people playing with the headset on rotation. Hopefully it will be able to do the eye tracking thing, set up and recognize my, recognize me in the same way like the Xbox Connect did with minimal effort to get involved 
and then when I pick it up, it's like, oh, my profile's there. I'm ready to go. And I'm not f faffing about or whatever. Because again, comparing back to Quest, comparing to older headsets like the Vive and the Rift and stuff, PC VR was, it just took so much more activation energy to kind of get into the headset. And I want it to be uh, an unmarred experience. I want to be able to just hop in. Not too much like wind up time, not too much loading. Um, that's the other thing. And I think those are the main topics for today. Um, I'm going to continue recording my thoughts. This is kind of like when I did a tool video a few years back where I was super excited after 13 years waiting, like we had a new album and stuff because I do music reviews or I have done on, on occasion just to, again, time capsule, the excitement and the thoughts and all of that. And so that's what this is. And so um, there won't be any fancy intro or fancy outro for these things or editing. It's just going to be straight thoughts uh, recorded for the purposes. And if you want to talk to me about it in comments and stuff, then absolutely fantastic. Great. I look forward to that. But I'm very excited for this headset. Uh, PS5 hasn't fallen off of my desk just yet, which is good. It's back there. It's humming away, ticking away. Um, that was the 7th of February, 2023. What will tomorrow bring? Hmm. Are they really going to come with something, some surprise announcement? Are they really going to come with like something like really awesome? And, and, and will Zim finally crumble and buy a, a wheel on GT7? I don't think so. I think I can hold. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I can hold off and not do that. But honestly, if I get to taste that and I see in the apex of a, you know, the cars are going and you see like one multiplayer head lock with another multiplayer head and they look at each other in the apex of the corner. Frick, that's going to do me like that's going to do me dirty. I, I, I will open my wallet and just be like, take the money. Just take it. Give me that experience because for years and years playing Assetto Corsa, that's what we wanted. We wanted multiplayer head turn. Um, we didn't get it. But, you know, chevrons and tags and labels and feckin' HUD and all that crap will keep me away, I hope. And I can be safe and sound and, and happy. Uh, but PSVR 2, look, the controllers look cool. The headset looks a bit fat, but, like, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that um, for now. And then those doohickeys for the earbuds. What are those going to be like? I don't know. So what's coming tomorrow? Can can I play a little game? Play a little game. Can we predict what's gonna come? Uh, tomorrow's what? Tomorrow's a, a Wednesday. What's gonna come on a Wednesday? I don't fucking know. Let's not predict stuff yet. It's too early. Till we get closer. I don't know. I do feel like Sony or have something under their lid, and there's a few close friends of mine who you know, are close to the industry and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was something under the lid that does come. But if we get nothing more, you know, nothing more than like Resident Evil, Thumper, uh, Horizon, Call of the Mountain, these games are going to be enough. And why aren't people talking about um, Neighbor Search and Rescue, that one? I think getting chased in VR that way could be like a dread halls experience that could be a a, a secret gem there uh, things like kayak are going to be obvious because they're pretty they're just eye candy but the stuff that like and even the light brigade could be a little bit like in death maybe and quite of a hook so there's stuff coming that i think is just really captivating anyway uh that's zim's thoughts for the night let's cap that and ship it curious what's coming uh, it's a good time. I always appreciate these, these little rundowns because we get to share our opinions. What are you excited for? What are you excited for? What are you excited for? What do you wish was coming? I'll tell you what I wish was coming. I wish Firmament would come to the console. I, I hope they're developing, Cyan, I hope they're developing Firmament for PSVR 2. Because detailed games like that, you want them to run flawlessly. And the QA teams behind Sony experiences, they require that to happen, you know? So underperforming games, I think, don't make the cut. 
Ah. Are we really getting a hundred and hundred and thirty plus games for PSVR two like in the ne in the next year? If we are, that's insane. That's an incredible lineup, and it will change the landscape. But I still wonder: is this the last like big name headset we're going to get for a while, or is this going to be enough to like beat the drum and you know bring everyone to the to the table? Now that Meta's decided to kind of shaft in various arrays its audience. Um, anyway, I'm excited to see how this plays out. See you on the next one.